Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're in the Shetlands. It's a tender ride, that is the ship uh, puts the passengers in the little tender boat or in the event of a, of a disaster, what we would call the lifeboats uh, and takes us ashore uh, to Lerwick. So shortly, we'll get on board the tender, we'll go ashore and see what Lerwick has to offer. Well, after about a 20 minute tender ride, we have arrived here in Lerworth in the Shetlands. Now, just to give you the numbers, uh, population of about 7,000, Lerworth being the main uh, town uh, of all the uh, Shetland Islands, and the main port as well. Uh, Shetland and Lerworth, uh, Lerworth and Shetland is situated uh, about 120 miles off the coast of Scotland and indeed 220 miles west of, of Bergen in, in, in Finland. Uh, so it's way, way up there. In fact, I'll put up a, a, a picture of its exact, its exact location. There is a weather station here because of the, the climate uh, that is prevalent here. And in actual fact, it, uh, the, the climate is such that uh, because it's, it's even further north than St. Petersburg, and all the Scandinavian capitals, the daylight hours, uh, <laughs> I'm looking because there's another lady filming over there, uh, the daylight hours in the summer uh, never really disappear. Uh, at nighttime it just becomes like twilight, but then in the winter they only get about six hours of, of daylight. But there you go, that's the numbers, you're welcome here, and now let's go and explore. And I hope that we do find the most famous resident of Lerwick. So I've walked through the streets and I've come to the place where I knew the most famous resident of Lerwick was going to be. And uh, it hasn't disappointed me. And if you want to see who the most famous resident of Lerwick is, there he is. Anytime, anytime that I come here, this goat is here. And this obviously is the man that owns the goat. What's your name, sir? What's your name? My name is Tom. Tom. And how, how, how has the goat got a name? Her name is Little Miss Goaty. Little Little Miss Goaty. Right. She's and four and a half months old. Oh, so she's a different one from the one I had seen last time. I would, last year was Pixie and then the year before was her mother was in Connor and then before that, uh, Connie. No, Connor was in. Connie's her mother. Because we melt the goats and then my wife makes the goats milk so yeah yeah so he's he's doing two jobs here he's collecting for the rnli which is very very important especially for all you people that's watching this that's on the ships with me and if you're not on the ships it's still a very good charity to give to but as thomas just said he milks the goats and then the wife runs the shop my wife makes the soap oh, oh soap 
Soap from goat's milk. From goat's milk. Fabulous. That's, that's my wife there. But she's not busy, she's, she's not busy <laughs> making it either. She's sitting there having a, having a bag and a cup Relax. of coffee. <laughs> Relax. I'm sure she's allowed to do that. Tom, I thanks know. for chatting to me. And let's... She's usually up at four o'clock in the morning. Let's... Bye-bye. Miss Goat, oh, you're a princess, aren't you? You would be forgiven for thinking that Lerwick is just narrow streets and the lovely bunting. But there's more to it than that. And what we're going to do now is go and visit the very end of the town, Port Charlotte. Built in 1781 or remodeled in 1781 and uh, named uh, Charlotte after King George III's uh, wife. Uh, it has been the lookout post and the bastion of, uh, of the Sherwicks, uh, of the Sherwicks, <laughs> of Lerwick here in the Shetlands for a long, long time. Due to land reclamation, of course, it's not right on the edge of the water the way it would have been. Uh, but we'll see that the, the battlements are still there, the, 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 the cannons are still there, and it's definitely well worth, worth a visit. It has never seen active service from it was remodeled. Um, there was a garrison stationed there during the American Civil War. Um, and indeed, when you, when, when you hear of, of Fort Charlotte, you think of the American Civil War, although it was named after, uh, as I said, King George III's wife. Um, in the recent times, uh, the Naval Reserve uh, have used it, but there's nobody there, there's nobody there now. It's, it's, it's owned now as a, as a, as a tourist uh, place. So let's go and see it. Come on. You know I love talking to the passengers when I come ashore. And these two particularly, simply because, where are you from? Well, we're from the same place you are. <laughs> you're, not, you're not giving much away, are you? <laughs> you would do well in Castle Ray. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For those in England, you haven't a clue what I'm talking about there. Tell them where you're from. We're, we're about in Northern Ireland. Okay, well, um, I'm from just outside Ballymena, which yep. is... Uh, and I'm from Belfast. Hence the Ballymena accent yes, that's and, and the Belfast accent. Uh -huh. Now, interesting fact, they currently don't live in Northern Ireland, they live in England. See. Because you wouldn't know to look at them. <laughs> <laughs> but this gentleman is a Presbyterian minister, so he must be feeling really at home in this part of the I world. Have. Yes, yes indeed. <laughs> <laughs> are you enjoying the cruise? We are, it's lovely, yes. Are you enjoying it? Yes. Uh, well. I have, I have, I have to enjoy it. Tell me this: you going to my show tonight? Absolutely. You are. We did enjoy the last no, one. You see, he's, he's preempted the question. <laughs> I've always asked the guests that have stopped him in the street if they enjoyed the show without knowing the answer. Uh, so anyway, let's pretend he didn't say that. Did you enjoy the show? We did. We didn't need an interpreter like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think if you were up there would need an interpreter, right? I think so, I think so too. I, I, think, I think I'm okay Although with it. not here in Shetland. No, you're good. <laughs> Have you met the, the most famous resident of Lerwick? No. The goat. Oh, we did oh, see, no. we yeah. saw, we didn't meet, but we saw. Yeah, the, the, the goat, I, I I interviewed the goat. He's always there. The, the goat's always there, yeah. He collects for the RNLI and he milks the goat and then his wife makes soap oh, out of the goat's milk. Useless information. But you could do the tour yourself? But you should write down that because it could be a question on a quiz on the ship. Could be. Right, yeah. I'll let you go because I'm yeah, heading on. up to Fort Charlotte. Have you been? We have. have. It's yes, they've been everywhere. <laughs> they know everything. Yes. Right, catch you later. Bye. Bumped into my fellow guest <laughs> entertainer. Well, a little one. bit funny. <laughs> He's Elton John tribute. <laughs> now, eagle eyed among you will know. And look, he has what I'm already talking about, or thinking about. He, he, the Eagle Eye will remember that you met this man in New Orleans. Indeed, of course, man. What a yeah. great cruise that was. And he had his first show last night. It was absolutely fabulous. It, oh, no, no, no. It, it, really, it really was brilliant. Uh, but I'm not going to disturb him any longer because uh, I'm, going, I'm going up to the fort and then I'm going to get some fish and chips. Right, catch us later. Well, after a very short walk through the town, here we are at Fort Charlotte. Let's go in and take a look.
Now this is interesting. This is the latrine of the fort. And it was flushed by the overflow from the cistern and drained into the sea. I don't know what Greenpeace would make of that. Or... <laughs> Having said that, they were ahead of themselves in some things because the rainwater from the roofs of the buildings passed through filter beds and collected here for the garrison's water supply. Eh, that was way ahead of themselves. This is now the most dangerous place that there could have been in the fort because this was the magazine. This is where the ammunition was kept. And uh, the soldiers uh, that were looking after it, what they did was they changed the uniforms to like uh, woolen uniforms. They took off their hobnail boots and put on sort of felt shoes so there'd be no spark. Because a spark at the wrong time, well, that would have caused a lot of trouble. You are. Hey. I'm sure when they were building this castle, they never ever thought that the day would come when it'd be reimagined as a, as a, as a as a picnic spot. Uh, there's a busker sitting on a cannon, but that's what it's all about: reimagining. Um, and it is a nice place to come. Seagull's right up at the mast of that uh, flagpole there, telling me to shut up. And so I'll do that. I'm going now to get some fish and chips because I won't have uh, enough time uh, before my show tonight. Well, I don't want to eat so close to my show tonight. This is my final uh, show tonight. And uh, so I'll go and do that, and then I'll head back to the ship. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up uh, the like and subscribe. Okay, see you later.